Some subscribers have uh, requested a bit of a walking tour around the streets of Vientian, some of the little alleyways and streets and things like that. So here you go, my box, hostel and cafe. It's a different sort of a name, ain't it? My box. Straight up that way, if you go straight through a couple of streets, you will run into the Mekong. Directly down here is the, I think it's called the Home Ideas Centre, where the grocery store was. Home Ideal Centre, there it is just up there. That is the grocery store I took you to a month or so back for the cost of Farung food. See the video just here. This is pretty quiet right here at this intersection right now, but in a couple of hours it will be alive with street vendors, street food, and everything in this area. And a Walkman shop there, which you can get some pretty good shopping there, some good quality shoes, clothes, things like that. We will walk down this way towards the cultural centre down here. Couple of nice little shops along here, art gallery, a nice building this. Lots of bars and cafes in this area. And through here you'll find some nice trendy little hotels. There you go. This boutique hotel. I'll get the name of it for you. 25 dollars i take it that'd be us the manorum boutique hotel not going to go in and look at rooms you got a nice picture of them then all timber layout 25 bucks right in the heart of the district, uh, the tourist district of Yanchin. Okay, so that's the Lao poet there. That's where my old mate, Chris, when he was over, he stayed there a few nights. Absolutely loved the place. A little bit more upmarket, but it's got everything you need. Pool, cracky, good Wi-Fi. Some nice places around here. Well, uh, so there's a mix-up guest house. They actually look after uh, bus tick, bus and train tickets also. The train ticket would obviously be from the one that's just into the Lao border. There is no uh, rail throughout Laos at the moment until the Chinese high-speed rail is completed. But we do have a crossing from Nong Kai 
just across the border to transport travellers into uh, Laos that way and yes you can get a visa on arrival at that train station there inside of Laos. Well you used to be able to, I don't know if they've closed it down now because of the e-visas. Ancient backpackers, I think I've shown that before in a previous video. In a previous video I did. We thought it was a good idea to park inside the temple just on sunset. Only to come back and find our car was locked in. You'll see it up there. A lot of backpacker hotels along here and restaurants. A lot of people have asked me for recommendations in the uh, night market district hotels and that there's no particular hotel i could recommend uh, but i do recommend probably just walking in off the street uh, i think you'll find you'll probably get a, a cheaper walking in off the street rather than going through a booking agency i've always found it cheaper anyway and there's that many hotels in the engine you're going to find something in the budget you're the look that you're looking for Okay, suit Jai, just there. That is where I booked my ticket to go up north on the sleeper bus to Luang Prabang. But as I said, all um, just about all guest houses can book those tickets for you and do it at much the same rate. The V Hotel. I have stayed there a few years ago when I first met Nina when I was staying in hotels when I came up over staying in the hotels of course because being unmarried did not want to risk risk copying a fine for um, having relations with an unmarried woman did stay there and at the time 2015 2016 i think it was around the 25 us mark uh, probably expect around 30 35 now but nine hotel very popular food vendor right there she's been there for many years as long as i've been coming here she's been here right oh, no, the night markets are just gonna start kicking off they're setting up now they're all along here on the left sorry buddy uh, this is where i used to stay stayed there probably about half a dozen times the first few trips years over here the lv riverside it was called hotel uh, and that was around 26 dollars i think these buildings have been bought out there was a uh, little convenience store here too all these buildings have been bought out i'd say going to be redeveloped they've been sitting vacant like that for a good 18 months maybe two years now If you keep seeing me fingers get in the road, it's because I've broken my bloody little tripod. Well, I've lost the nut off the uh, connection and I can't screw it, so I'm just holding the camera by itself. down there you know this street well Tyson's Kitchen Sticky Fingers and also next to this cafe right here you can hire uh, trail bikes bigger bikes to actually go touring Laos something a bit more substantial than these scooters to go out of the city um, down this alleyway is Tully's we'll go down there I'm gonna grab something to eat I might grab my bike first bring it back and park it there but Tully's Irish Bar. Setting up the night markets, they're all coming out. They're all coming out of the woodwork, all these little trolleys and that. It's funny 
I don't know if they live in there or they store them in properties around close by because this time of an evening it is literally like they're coming out of the woodwork, they're coming out of these little driveways, little alleyways everywhere. Looks at the Ansara, Ansara Hotel. Spa and Wellness Centre. And that's Tully's there. Yeah, I'll walk on back, I'll grab my bike and uh, grab a feed then. That's another part of the inside. Some very nice buildings in around this area. A nice old architecture. House for sale. She'd be pretty pricey in this area too. There's a number if you want it anyway. I presume it is the house out the back here. Solana. I've got to get out and walk these streets more often. I've seen so many um, hotels I've never seen before. You see, I'm either riding or driving. Not really been the tourist who walks the streets. Soho Lebanese Lebanese cuisine international Yes, my bike is still there and my helmet is still there. I knew the bike would still be there because I locked it up but um the helmet <laughs> 